So, race 34, and all the madness of Cheltenham Festival. We're going to move on to the Midlands National here at Utoxeter, over four miles in the furlong, so 0 to 140. So, our top weight is going to be Zami Thinkar for Pontypool Racing, in Roller for Obi-Wan is two, Naparigi Raid for David Robertson is three, Labanzi for Craig Beckwith is four, Set the Trend for Paul Rose is five, Dictate Ross for Martin Needham is six, Hellas for Stu Bray is seven, Come All Ye Faithful for Paul Rose is eight, and Lakota Ghost for Obi-Wan makes up nine of them, over four miles in a furlong. We're putting in their brand national credentials. As we start at the winning post. It's the Paul Rhodes commonly faithful that's going to lead this. Race left handed. It's a beautiful horse here. The grass is as green as it comes. As they run down to the first. At 24, they have to take over this four miles. It's commonly faithful that's going to lead them over it. Hopefully successfully, he does he'll jump it well. We're all pretty close order. There's four lengths between first and last. He's left-handed again. Into the top bend. It's come all ye faithful. These from set the trend out wide. Also for all the roads in the grey. Never do raid for David Robinson. Have a wonderful chub them over towards a bit of a mistake there. I think quite in roll up for Obi One. Craig backwards in the band Z, up against the fence. Out wide here is Zami Thinkar. And the two yellow silks of Lakota Ghost and then roll up. Alas, the grey for Stu Gray. And then Marty Needham's Dictate Ross. So it's a pretty sedate pace as we would imagine here. We get to the third. A big uh, jump there by Napriji Raid. Plenty of room. And this is Come All Ye Faithful by a couple of links to set the trend. Anything kind of bridgy raid and Lavanzi against the fence. And only one horse is a big roller. The coat of ghosts with the uh, hook for space being blocked in by his stable mate as they get to the fourth. They all get over that. They're not particularly jumping well here. The leaders were a little bit slow over it. Being pushed out wide now here is Hellas. Martin Needham's dictate Ross uh, pushes everyone across. But it's come on ye faithful, it still leads us. We've still got over three miles to travel. Come on ye faithful, we'll set the trend. And Sam Ethan Carr in roller. And the pretty raid. And Beckless Labanzi also had a successful Cheltenham. Well done. Dictate Ross, Martin Needham, and the coat of Ghost and Hamas are just at the rear. So they're through five. Still one over three miles to travel. These will probably be turning up next week at the Grand National. Over the six. Some of them. And then will probably ruin his mark. And as we know, that's probably, even if we get to 30 horses, 25 of them will be have a handicap in the Grand National. We really need to look at some of these handicaps. Oh, we've lost the leader here. Come all you faithfuls gone. I'm waffling about the Grand National. Poor Paul Rose's Come all you faithfuls have gone up. It's left to set the trend now in front. So take the eighth. Jump there, so that's a third of the fence is done. Go past the winning post again. But as I said, we need to maybe look at banded handicaps next year in the National Hunt. I'm not saying necessarily talking about the uh, Group 3 events. But, you know, we've really got to have the handicap working as a handicap, otherwise, we might as well just have more running off joint weights. You know, if we've got 10 to 12 that uh, are running out of the handicap. Maybe we look at uh, handicap bands. Otherwise, they're not really handicapped. Anyway, enough of my waffling. It's set the trend that leads us over the ninth. And the loose horse, come on ye faithful. And the first of the greys in a pretty raid. And the fences in roller for Obi Wan. Inside of that is Grey Clutterbuck's Zami Thinkar, the top weight. Two further greys, Hellas and Dictate Ross. Great Beckwith's Labanzi as they come to the tenth. Jump back well. Come to go a little bit slow. Still over two miles to go. It's set the trend that leads. And then roller on a pretty raid. Dictate Ross, Zami, Thinkar, Lamanzi, Hellas, and Lakota Ghost. Set the trend. Leads us over the 11th small ditch. Step over that one. Including Lakota Ghost at the rear. Hellas still running 3 4 wide. Space to get over to the fence. Let's hope uh, 
like patch 54 or 55 that's coming. Let's so we'll sort out some of this mad uh, jockeymanship on some of these horses. So into the 12th. Half the fence is done. They're all over that. And when we're down, it's just come all ye faithful. And the loose horse has slipped itself back into the main pack. But it's set the trend for all roads that leads. From the pretty raving second in Roller is third. Sammy Thinkar is fourth. It takes Ross five. Lavanzi's having a lovely cruise round on, on the route. Scraping paint. Hellas out wide. And Lakota Ghost. There's a race left handed again. Set the trend that still leads by four now to the Pridgey Raiders that go over the 13th. Not unlucky for anybody. Well, this is the third now. Only one, two, three. And the loose horse to take Ross and Zami Thinkar. Loose horse causing Labanzi to creep back with a little bit of problems now. He needs to get out of there. As we go over the 14th. We jump there by Lakota Ghost. So through 14, they approach the 15th. Mile and a half still to go. It set the trend from the Bridgie Raid and then roll up. Dictate Ross and Zami Thinkar. And three at the rear, the Banzi, Hellas, and Lakota Ghosts. So the Banzi finally gets a shot of the loose horse. Come all ye faithful. Moves a little bit wider, it's had to come off the rail as they go to the 16th. And jumps by all. They're all still on their feet here. Bode well for going to the National next week as we go past the winning post for the last time. One more circuit. Eight more. Uh, fences to take. It's going to be set the trend from enrolling that's moved up into second now. Pretty Raid is third, and Dictate Cross is four. It's only Think I, a top weight five. Abanzi's back over towards the rail, scraping paint as he's managed to get rid of the loose horse. Come on, you faithful, he's moved into the last position. And we've got Lakota Ghost and Hellas. We get to the 17th. Everyone jumps it well. Still set the trend, setting the pace. By a couple now to enrollers moved up into second. Pretty raids third. Dictate Ross is four. Only Thinker five. Hellas has moved up into six. Banzi and Lakota Ghost just bring up the rear as we go to the 18th. So six more to take and still set the trend. All rows led since the beginning. His teammate come all ye faithful. We lost. Pretty Raid moves uh, alongside in Roller now into second. Dictate Ross is still third. So only think on Hellas and the Banzai. Lakota Ghost as they go over the 19th. Much better jump by the leader there. So set the trend. Still leads, but he uh, leads down to about two or three now to the Pretty Raid for David Robertson. With a marvellous jump. Then. One moving up well on the outside now is Hellas, the grey. As we come down to the final six furlongs, he set the trend that leads from Napriji Raid. But here comes Hellas to throw down the challenge as they go over the 20th. The other one that's moved out now is Labanzi, so it's all change, and it's Hellas. Takes it up from set the trend on the inside. Labanzi's moved away and now chasing down Hellas. It looks like set the trend shot is Bolt, but it's Hellas inside the four and a half now. From Labanzi in second, set the trend starts to go backwards. Napriji Raid doesn't look like he's got a lot, lot left in rollers not really moving. Dictate Ross is not picking up either. So it is this Hellas that leads inside the final half mile by about four to Labanzi in second. Still trying to run as a pretty raid. Oh, he's gone through the top of it, Hellas. Lost all his momentum. Here comes Labanzi, but he's picked up again, Hellas. Still got three to jump, and it's Hellas from Labanzi and a pretty raid and in roller. Set the trend's not going to win from there as we're inside the final three furlongs. Two to jump. Hellas is over it, but a better jump by Labanzi, and Labanzi takes it up, and it's great back with Labanzi. With Hellas on his inside. These two run down to the last couple, and it's Labanzi and Hellas. Two furlongs to run. Labanzi, Hellas, and a pretty raid still trying to make up ground. But it's Labanzi that rises first with Hellas on his inside. Labanzi still gets away from it better. Furlong to run. Hellas is coming back. There's a little bit of a weight pull here for Hellas. Labanzi, Hellas, and a pretty raid. Labanzi, Hellas on the inside. They get to the last. Oh, he's gone through the top of it. Labanzi has allowed Hellas just to pick it up. But on the outside, here comes a pretty raid. But it's Hellas. Hellas is going to hold on here. Hellas from Napriji Raid finishing like a steam train. But it's Hellas that takes it from Napriji Raid and Mabanzi in third. Unlucky for Craig Beckwith there. Mistake at the last. Opened it up for me. And Hellas takes it. Two wins today. One at Cheltenham and now I've won this. Blimey. I don't think I've ever won two races uh, in a week this season. But I have this one.
although Hellas takes it from the pretty raid who was running on will certainly look good for the national next week a Banzi for Craig Beckwith just needs to jump the last a bit better a long time leader set the trend for Paul, Rays, Paul Rhodes was fourth and Roller was fifth Roby one and as you can see Hellas had a, a massive pull on the weights there and we'll only probably go up ten pounds Alex just nudging you there just so he has a chance in the national next week OK, from the Midlands Grand National, I think we're now going to move on to the next race, which is going to be the Somerset Grand National. Join me.